Ken Roberts wanted to be a pro baseball player growing up. In fact, he was even offered a pro contract to try out for the Chicago White Sox. Well, that didn't work out. Actually, a tryout to play for the Chicago White Sox. And while that didn't work out, Robert's career has been anything but a failure. He's one of the top high school hoops coaches in the Heartland has ever seen, which is why he'll be inducted into the Missouri Basketball Coaches Hall of Fame on Friday. Here's a glimpse into the career of a local legend. You come to Ken Roberts' house today, what you see is trophies of birds and other things he's hunted in the wild. But what he did more than anything during his 27 years of coaching was collect wins. You have a lot of ups and sometimes you have some downs. But most of mine's been ups. 687 ups, as he calls them to be exact, at 10 high schools, including Marceline, Knox County, Lynn County, and Novinger, where he started his coaching journey with a 26-win season for the boys' team, which captured his first of five district titles. The three years of Novinger, when I was there, we had over 200 and 250 people to go to every game no matter how far we went. And that's quite a few for a small town of Novinger. The most publicized moment of Robert's coaching career was during his time at Knox County when his Eagles rallied from 20 down despite finishing the game with just two players on the court because the rest of his team fouled out. When we went down to four men, we went to a 2-2 press and a 2-2 zone. When we went down to three men, we went to a 1-2 press and a 1-2 zone. I'm not sure what we went to when we went to two men. But anyway, we won the game. While the faces and teams changed over the years, Roberts always stuck to his game plan. I like to run the basketball. To me, it still gives me goose pimples whenever I see a three-man fast break and they make it work right. To last 27 years, though, your heart has to be in it. And to Roberts, it was all about his players, including his sons Rick and Bob, who both played for him. I was a principal for probably 20-some years, as well as a coach. And I've, I've made the statement forever, I never did see a bad kid. I've seen some minor ones, but I never could, they never did bother me. And those kids seemed to win no matter what the name was on the front of their jersey. Why did Roberts have so much success everywhere? His system of fundamental hoops, he says, which was much like one used by a not-so-lovable character. Of course, I'm a big fan of Bobby Knight. I know he's a chair thrower, but I tell you what, fundamentally his people are hard to beat. And I think that's the thing basketball is. Roberts mentioned he was a principal. He was also a referee for years. And he says every coach should have to be a ref to gain the official's perspective. Coach Roberts did coach boy. He coached boys hoops and girls hoops. 27 years for the boys, 14 for the girls. He'll be one of seven coaches inducted on Friday. Quite a character, Mr. Roberts. And uh, very nice to go over there and meet him today. And just such a such an array of things he did. Yeah, seems like a very nice man as well. Very good guy. Very deserving. Thanks a lot, Rishi. We'll be right back.